So, welcome to my February favourites. I can't believe we're at the end of February already. I can't even believe where January's gone, to be honest. But I hope you had a good month. I had a really, really lovely month. It was Valentine's Day. And I'm going to share with you the products that I've been enjoying this month. You probably are wondering why I'm in a different background, but it's because I have got people here and I can't really kind of go and film in the living room because they might think I'm a bit crazy. So I'm going to just jump right into it, talk to you about everything I've been loving and I've also got a couple of kind of February regrets as well but I'll leave those till the end, leave negativity till the end. Um, I'll just go into it with kind of no random order, fish things out and talk to you about them. The first thing is a hair product and this is the Vera 5 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray. Everyone's talking about the Orbe or Oribe or however you pronounce it, dry texturizing spray that's crazy expensive and that the Charles Worthington's a good dupe. I haven't tried the Charles Worthington one yet but I do really like this. It just adds a nice amount of texture and it's not too uh, heavy on the hair. The only thing is you need to kind of make sure you spray it from a safe distance because otherwise you can get a little bit of a white cast going on especially if you're a brunette so be careful with this but a great budget buy. Then I've got some skincare and this is by a brand called Le Vieux Cosmetics. I'm presuming that's how you pronounce it and probably butchering it. But it's their facial exfoliating gel and I've kept this in the packaging because I wanted to show you the packaging because it's so sweet. It comes in this kind of little box with this kind of velvet case, not velvet, but this kind of like fabric casing. It kind of sits in its little hole there and I just think it's really adorable but it's a kind of facial exfoliating gel so it's not grainy but it's got loads of kind of dead sea minerals in it and that type of thing and it helps to kind of rejuvenate your skin and get rid of any dead skin cells and just leave your skin feeling very smooth. It's very similar to the Jinvara blackhead removing gel, that type of concept but um, kind of slightly more gentle. I don't like the scent of this, that's the only thing that I have to mention, it's got a very kind of chemical weird scent but it does work beautifully on the skin. So that is that. Then another hair care product I've been loving. This is the TG Foxy Curls um, Contour Cream. A couple of pumps of this into my hands on the days where I'm washing my hair and it works a treat. It kind of gives enough bounce, gives a little bit of shine, gives you that definition but doesn't make your hair feel kind of sticky or weighed down and that type of thing. So I've been really enjoying this. It's a really nice product and um, I generally kind of think that TG styling products are great. I'm not sold on all the shampoos and conditioners, but styling products, I think, is where they excel. So that is that. Then, what else have I got in here? I'm just kind of randomly fishing things out. Um, two makeup products. The first one is a blush, and this is the Benefit Lolly Tint. This is super, super cute. Um, I've been using this loads, and I didn't think I was going to like it, but this is what it looks like. Really, really pretty. It looks like a little nail polish. Then you get it out, and it has this cute little tiny applicator, and it's this kind of mauvey pink sweet colour, and I just dab a little bit of this onto my cheeks, and it makes my face look really alive and glowing. You have to work very fast, because it does set very quickly, but it's a very pretty kind of very um, awake looking blush and then I've got another blush here this is from Cosmetics a la carte and this is in the shade um, Grape and it's just a kind of slightly more muted pink. I like the packaging of this, how it kind of comes with this little flip thing here. And it's just a nice kind of muted pink shade, nice for winter, nice understated shade. And I do like those types of blushes. I find them very wearable and it's on days where I'm in a rush. I'll just pop a little bit of that on and you're good to go. So that's um, blushes. Then what other makeup items have I got in here? I can't see what I've got in my little box, right? I've got another blusher because that's just how I roll these days, obsessed with blusher. So this is by Lily Lolo, which for those of you who don't know, is kind of like a mineral um, makeup company. They do loads of different types of mineral makeup, so kind of foundations, and I'm just assembling everything here because it's going terribly wrong. They do um, mineral foundations and blushes and eyeshadows and I think they also do lip products as well yeah they do some really nice lipsticks actually but this is one of their new blushes and this is in the shade ooh la la which I think is so so cute and it's just this little mineral blush and it's so pretty it's a kind of true flushed pink shade it's a little bit messy as is the case with most mineral makeup but very very pretty and very wearable and flattering on most skin types and I think the packaging of this is so cute like the print they've done inside and everything the packaging is just very very cute and the kind of monochrome really pretty and it's got minimal ingredients as well which is great if you're kind of quite sensitive about ingredients in your makeup. Then I've also got a fragrance that I have been obsessed with this month and this is the Narciso Rodriguez for her. I 
I have always gone in store and sniffed this and never brought, been able to bring myself to purchase it. But oh my god, this is amazing. Something that's a close dupe is the Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely Fragrance, but this is nicer. It's stronger, it's sexier, it's kind of almost a little bit musky and dirty. I prefer this to the black version of it because it's slightly more floral. And it's just so amazingly sexy there's no other way to describe it i've talked about this loads of my, loads of my videos this month but it's because it's just that fantastic so go and buy this if you like sexy fragrances because you will love it and then i've also got some skincare here two kind of nice skincare items the first one is by l'oreal and i feel kind of good i'm mentioning this because my two regrets are from l'oreal so at least i've got a bit of a balance going on but this is the skin perfection advanced correcting serum I really like this. I've been using this every morning under my makeup and it works beautifully. It kind of gives your skin that nice smooth finish, soft focus finish and it's just really lovely. It smells nice, the packaging's nice, it's a decent price point. I can't fault it really, it's a lovely product. And then I've also been enjoying the ARC Anti-Aging Skin Protector SPF 30 Primer. This I've been using for months and I keep meaning to feature it in my favourites but because it's in my bathroom with a kind of everyday products I forget and I love it. It's a really nice um, sunscreen if you like to kind of protect your skin on a higher level so like an SPF 30 upwards. Beautiful, beautiful product and it just really kind of makes your skin feel soft but it primes it for makeup. It's not sticky, it doesn't give you that weird white cast and it's just amazing. Really, really recommend this if you're on the market for any sunscreen. Hey, I'm going to do a video soon about kind of different sunscreens as well. Then I have got a foundation that I've been really enjoying this month. And this is by L'Oreal. So I've got two L'Oreal things I like and then two things I don't like. This is the Lumi Magique Light Diffusing Foundation. I've liked this for ages. It doesn't last that well on me and I don't wear this every day. I kind of wear it on days where I haven't got to kind of do too much and I haven't got a really long day. But it's very natural, very pretty and it's kind of a nice blowy foundation. I've got oily skin but I just don't like matte foundations. It's just not for me and this is really nice. So if you've got kind of quite dry skin you will really like this. It does kind of really make your skin glow and it's a similar finish to NARS Sheer Glow but still not as nice. And then I've also got a lip product here that I have been enjoying. This is one of the Revlon um, what is this called? They're lacquer balms. They do the matte balms and the lacquer balms now. This is in the shade Coquette this is beautiful. I've got so many lip products and if I use something more than once a week it's because I love it and I've been using this a lot. It's just very very glossy, very pretty. I'll apply a little bit now to show you over the top of whatever I've already got on. Um, very glossy, very pretty and I want more of these. I really 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 like it and the packaging is beautiful as well. I think Revlon have got it on the ball when it comes to the kind of chubby sticks. They're fantastic. And then I think that is it for products I have been loving. Then I've got two disappointing products and then I've also got a kind of random favourite. So I will do the disappointing products first. These are both by L'Oreal. The first one, and be warned, I'm going to go into a bit of a rant here, <laughs> is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is a classic case of how different foundations work so differently on different people because everyone I know on YouTube talks about how amazing this is, that it's a perfect dupe for um, Armani Luminous Silk and I hate it. I really just feel like it's cakey. The coverage isn't great. Um, it kind of separates on my skin. It sits into kind of lines I never even knew I had like here. And it just doesn't look good on my skin at all. So I don't know if that's just my skin type. A lot of people said they mix it with other things and it works well. But the finish of it just doesn't do anything for me. And I was really disappointed. I really thought I was going to love this because everyone else seems to. And I really didn't get on with it. I didn't like it. And then another product that's really hyped from L'Oreal. But I think this might just be the shade. Is one of their infallible um, eyeshadows. And this is in Endless Chocolate. I ordered this, was really excited because everyone talks about how amazing these are and it comes with this kind of little stopper so you can kind of get it out and then apply the shadow and it looks like it's a really beautiful kind of deep glistening chocolate brown colour but the problem is once you start to blend it, it kind of turns into sort of a grey colour and it goes into a very dark um, kind of almost cool toned shade that just doesn't suit my colouring very well. So if I show you here. 
it just kind of turns into nothingness and it doesn't blend very nicely on the eye and I'm just not very impressed with the shade I think I need to try kind of, kind of some of the bronzes and the lighter shades but we're quite limited on what shades we can get in the UK so if you've got any shades of these that you think you'll like let me know and I will pick some up because it's not that I don't like it it's just the shades a little bit weird for me I don't know what it is about it I'm just not a fan so that is that and then my kind of random favorite although it is still beauty related is the Bobbi Brown Living Beauty book I have been reading a lot of kind of um just normal books I've been re getting through all the Game of Thrones and I just wanted to kind of have a little bit of a shallow read in between so for my shallow read I've been going for something like this and this is really lovely she talks a lot, a lot about anti-aging in it which is something I'm really fascinated by and it's kind of like style tips makeup tips so the skincare section is the most fascinating I think and it's just a really lovely kind of read I picked it up for five pounds in Matalan I think it was years ago but I really recommend you buying this it's a really lovely book especially if you like beauty so that is it for my February favourites I haven't got a favourite YouTuber actually I've been really enjoying um is it Amelia Liana is that her name I've really been enjoying her videos this month but um apart from her I can't think of anything that's kind of really stood out to me but I have had quite a few products that I've really enjoyed this month so I'm looking forward to talking to you about all the ones I'm going to try next month and I'd love for you to tell me what your favourites have been this month um, and if you are looking forward to it getting a little bit warmer because I feel like spring's officially on its way now which I'm really excited about so I hope you all have a fantastic fantastic um, end of the month and we'll have a great March and I will see you in my next video.